In an election still too close to call, an emotional day for Green Party leader Sonia Furstenau, losing Saturday after making the decision to run here in Victoria Beacon Hill, still staying on as leader, reflecting while speaking to reporters for the first time since the results came in. I mean, truly humbled. I've had people from across the entire political spectrum reach out to me. The Greens currently hold the balance of power, winning two seats, while the NDP of 46 and the Conservatives 45. First and now says she's spoken to David Eby, the Premier, and any deal with either party starts here. The starting place is our platform. I really invite people to, to, uh, to become familiar with the BC Green platform. First Now has not yet spoken to John Rustad, acknowledging she missed a call from the Conservative leader because she didn't recognize the number, expressing huge concerns about the BC Conservative Party. There have been statements made by Conservative candidates that are truly disturbing, racist, dehumanizing, homophobic and conspiratorial. Some of these candidates have been elected and I have yet to see a satisfactory response from John Rustad around this. Rob Botterill in Saanich North in the Islands and Jeremy Valerian in West Vancouver Sea to Sky are the two Green MLA elects. The Greens aren't ready yet to start the negotiations, especially with recounts about to start. And they wouldn't get into any specifics when it comes to the policy issues that could be on the table. I'm not going to talk about anything specific until the vote tallies are in and the conversations that we have will be focused on it, on. Uh, on ensuring that we are getting meaningful and important outcomes for British Columbians. As for how long First and Now may stay on as an unelected leader, she says the Greens will have an AGM at some point to make that decision. Richard Zussman, Global News, Victoria.